today on Tales from Hell Gate High School. Tragedy strikes as one innocent victim tripped. Was it her fault? Was she clumsy? Was it the only other person around's fault? Was it another force? Find out tonight. It was a day like any other day. Jordan was walking from fifth to sixth period. The bell had just rung, yet the hallways were almost empty. She walked, and then tragedy strikes. As you can see, the prime suspect for the alleged trip is clearly Ellen. The sole suspect, Ellen, was taken into custody by two hall monitors. What? Wait, no, no, I'm innocent! I don't know what you're talking about. Just go me. Jordan was a fairly popular girl before the accident, well-liked around school. Everything changed then. And Ellen, she was your traditional underdog, not as well-liked not as popular. Could this be motivation? We'll find out in this interview. I don't know, it's just going to class like usual. Um, I don't even, you know, people are just using me as a scapegoat. Goat. I have a reputation for being completely judgmental, and, you know, and a little bit aggressive. When we asked about the events that transpired, Ellen played dumb. Look below, and then Boom! She goes down. And no one else is there to show you. I'm just walking to class. Uh, but you clearly made contact with the victim. Is that right? No. I'm just a scapegoat. Everybody blames me for it. I'm not the most popular. I'm like one of the most hated people in school. What is your definition of scapegoat? Like I get blamed for stuff. And I'm usually blamed for everything at school. So how am I... It all happened so fast, I don't even know. I was just minding my own business, walking down the hall, and suddenly I was hit. And I wound up on the floor. I didn't know how I got there. It was just all crazy. Well, how are they supposed to know I tripped somebody? I, like, I wouldn't do that on purpose. The alleged tripper? I didn't see much of her, but she had a um, kind of a flannel shirt or vest thing, and it was purple and black. And she definitely had glasses, say that. And that, that's really all I can remember. Basically, I was just chilling in the hallway, and I heard a noise big thump and I heard someone say oh no. So in your own words what can you tell me about the victim? Uh, the victim? Yes Jordan do you know anything about her? Uh no I don't know Jordan. Do you know the um do you know Ellen? No. This event has caused a chain reaction which changes the ways that people look at the safety of the halls in Hellgate High School. This tripping incident affected me by striking constant fear in the hallways of my school. I can't turn a corner without having to look around and I have to run to my classes and I'm constantly checking behind my shoulders to see if anyone's after me again. I don't think Ellen could have tripped Jordan. She tripped in the wrong direction. How do you figure? Ellen was standing in an angle that was not proper for the trip that Jordan has described. Like the tripologist said, it was like a, a weird coincidence because you, if you like pause the footage, you can see this faint bug on the sidewalk, okay? There's, I, I remember it because I have 
this extreme ability to remember things because I was abducted and they made experiments about my brain and oh my goodness I'm having uh, they're speaking to me oh, ah! oh no my fresh fit eyes <laughs> millions of people die from tripping every year so they hired me as an expert we flew in some experts from Oklahoma City, Texas. And if you viewers don't know, that's one of the most major provinces in Canada. I'm here with Autumn, a trip expert. Tripologist. I didn't go to four years of graduate school to be called a trip expert. Well, I'm sorry, what? trip expert. So, we'll be running through the tripping here. Like, I'm on the scene with you. So, let's run through this. Okay, well, you are Ellen, and I'll be Jordan. We are walking, we're getting closer, and bam, I fall this way. This is the wrong way. She should have fallen that way, over there. But is it possible that it wasn't a trip and actually a hit? Because that would completely explain why she went that direction. There was no hitting I saw in the video. There's very special ways to hit people that no one will ever see. They call it the underarm. Did Jordan claim she was hit? Well, she thinks she was tripped, but there's easy ways to make it seem like she was tripped too. I am not a hit expert. I am a trip expert, and she was not tripped. But, as far as I know, she doesn't claim that she was hit, there's no signs that she was hit, and the video doesn't say she was hit. So, she was tripped, we just don't know how yet. Well, you heard it. My name is Pedro Yostafa Bread, signing out. It was probably just when I hit my head, I had miscalculated the direction that I fell. Now that I see it, I do remember falling that way. Jordan denied the accusation of her being clumsy. That's absurd. How could anybody ever say that I was clumsy? That's, that's not even possible. I was tripped. I'm a victim. As you can see, Ellen is not, she's at an awkward angle to even put her foot out to trip Jordan. And Jordan trips in the completely opposite way than she could have even if Ellen had tripped her. As you can see by this footage, Jordan did not trip the correct way. In the Northern Hemisphere, Toilets flush counterclockwise. In the southern hemisphere, they flush clockwise. Could this have anything to do with Jordan's tripping? Find out next. I've, I've fallen and I can't get up. Or at least this thing, let me track. Nope, no, no, uh, no, I can't, I can't get up. Hello, my name is Autumn. I'm a tripologist at the, from the School of Tripology. And I just want to say that millions of people die from tripping every year. Always follow the basic safety precautions. Always make sure you throw away your banana peels in the trash can. Don't let this happen to you. Hi, I'm, I'm selling Liam pictures, Liam soundboards, Liam sounds in general, everything about Liam! Why, I never... Hey! Uh. Oh, it was a glitch! It's not slavery, it's Liam! I soon got a message that somebody had more information. I went to the meeting place. I soon got information that there was more to this story. I got a meeting place. I went there. I received a manila envelope, and in that envelope, there was a phone. The phone contained footage of the accident. As you can see by this footage, Ellen was clearly not at fault for tripping Jordan. But who are the two boys behind her? Is this some extra force? Find out next on Tales from Hellgate High School. We find out the exact culprit of the crimes. Are you afraid of the dark or the dark arts? Well, you mortals don't have to be afraid anymore. This is 
Introducing my new witch brew. Just one sip of this and you won't be afraid of the dark anymore. Plus, it's a potion of my own design. And if you call now, you'll get some of my magic makeup for free. And it lasts longer than for years than any other makeup you've ever had. I handed you a phone and within the phone it contained a video and within the video it contained a different angle on the tripping that showed these two boys behind a bench that popped up on the crime scene on the crime scene so Ellen is walking towards Jordan who are they're both moving and then Jordan trips while walking past Ellen I'm nice to every single person that I talk to in the school I don't know why anybody would single me out or say that I'm a bad person or try to harm me for it because I'm always nice to people and I would always introduce myself to people. I think that it was the two boys behind the bench. There was no, this was no accident. This was a piece of art. These aliens were trying to make some sort of statement, but I don't know what. Oh, for Christ's sake, I came all this way only to be interrogated and um, for something I didn't do. You're, you're trying to confess me for something I did not do at all. Forget you! Something that we all must take away from this is that in a world so mysterious, there's always a new perspective to look at things. We must always care for each other and realize that maybe our point of view is skewed. And apple juice has, has, has toxins and poisons in it. So, and I believe that aliens put those in there to, a, to aid in the process of making people do what they want. It feeds the little bug in your, in your, in your, in your, in my, in my case, a finger. But Donald Trump, on the other hand, oh, <laughs> that sneaky, sneaky little person, He's a businessman, and businessmen, as you all know, are aliens. So, <laughs> oh, he's a smart, he's smart, he is smart. <laughs>